least you're in a funnier mood, better mood. Hello, I'm back. Again. Margie, Margie B, at Margie B's Fabulous Finds and Marvelous Makeovers. And this is my second half of the first video you might have seen earlier where I was holding up my little Buddha guy. But I've already told you about him in the first video. So now, I'm not quite sure where I left off in the last one. But I am going to uh, carry on here. Try to show you a few more things that I have for sale on Thursday at 4 p.m. live on YouTube at my channel, which is Margie B's Fabulous Finds and Marvelous Makeovers. Okay, so... Um, Oops, some of those things are over there. Okay, first I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so this I picked up at, at the uh, Habitat for Humanity. And I kind of wish that I had picked, there were two more there, that I had picked them up as well. Because this one really... Um, uh, has a good resale value uh, as far as I could tell on on the Google Lens thing. It took me right to it and showed me some. It's really cute. It's uh, a nautical, it's a sea port. Sort of a, like an um, eastern sea port type of thing. Uh, cross stitch. Very nicely done. Frame is in decent shape. It's not great, and I don't know what um, what year this is. It doesn't show. Back is kind of messed up, you know, a little bit. But it kind of looks like they had it professionally done. They just didn't put very good paper on the back. But it's it's really 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 cute, and it's clean, and there's no stains. I don't know, maybe Nicole from Nesting Haven would like this. She loves cruel work, but I don't know if I've ever seen her pick up nautical things like this. But anyway, that'll be for sale. And let's see. Um, I, I have this... I think this is a pen and ink drawing that is numbered. It's number 49 out of 850. It is signed by S, looks like, looks like S. Francis. But I do not know, I could not find anything on, a, on an S. Francis. A lot of different Francis's this is, but uh, S. Francis. But it's it's gotta be some European little village uh, England or Scotland or someplace. Very nice. Not huge, so I don't think this would be too hard to ship. Um, I have a couple of other uh, watercolors that I picked up at uh, Habitat for Humanity. This one I didn't. This was from another yard sale before. Uh, I think it was last year, like at the end of last year. Or no, maybe it was in... Uh, February this year before things got shut down. That could be. I remember going to one then. Um, but anyway, this is in very nice shape, and yet I know nothing about it. So we'll, I'll put that up there, and if anyone seeing this uh, video before my sale can recognize this, okay, maybe you can tell me something about it. That would be good. Alrighty. Now, here's something. Oh, you're gonna love this. Here's something by a really famous artist. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 80s, I was doing some oil paintings things. I don't know if you remember, but boy in the 80s, they were painting on anything. If it didn't, if it didn't run away, you painted something on it. And this was an old frying pan, and this is a this is a real campfire frying pan uh, uh, from uh, let's see, it's got uh, National. It's a National is the brand, 
and it's and it's for I, I'm pretty sure it's for when you go camping or something like that. A lot of rust in there, and I can't believe I didn't date this because usually I I put my name or initials on it somewhere and didn't date it, but I'm sure it was around eighty eight or eighty seven somewhere in there. I was painting a lot of stuff, and um, and I, I'm going to put that in sale too. In case you're one of those people who likes primitive, that'll be for sale. Um, hold on. Here is a wooden, a wooden vase, vase, carved probably on a, on a lathe to get the the shape that it that it is right here, and then. Uh, I don't know what they use it for. Maybe candle. Maybe a candle because it's kind of greeny looking inside there. But uh, but anyway, it is uh, made of wood, and it did come up when I googled this. It did come up, um, and there were other vases that were carved, uh, so a very similar carving. Uh, it had this flower on it, but not exactly. The shape was. Uh, a little different so you could tell it was hand made by an individual without really using a pattern or anything and then there's little berries there on either side uh, and then uh, I imagine this is some sort of a, a a different colored stain that they put on different spots there and then here I would think uh, the bottom you can see where the lathe is stuck in there and for them to carve it so um, these did show up when I googled them um, but I thought it was just really nice no chips or breaks or anything my husband had an uncle that uh, did um, candlesticks and things on the lathe but he never finished them real nice like this. He didn't um, uh, stain them or hand carve them after the lathing work or even put a, a sealer on there that gave it some shine. But I just thought this was really pretty. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's solid wood, except for what they carved out of there. Anyway, so that'll be for sale. Now, I also have... <clears throat> This is a this is a ceramic jug, and I want to say it's about 12 to 14 inches tall, I think. It looks like, when I look on the inside, it looks like it's a redware clay, I, I think. Um, and hand-painted, handmade. On the bottom is nothing but a little some wear and tear painting that it was done. Um, I I think this that some of the paint, this might have been a little rough spot, or maybe she highlighted some of these things with some white. Yeah, I guess that's what the artist did. Um, but this is quite heavy because it's a pretty good size. It came with this lid, but I think that this lid was uh, was made separately. It's wood. The lid is wood. And I I don't know that it really came with the jug, but it, it it's on the jug now and it looks nice. Jug, container, vessel, I don't know exactly. I don't think it's the kind of thing you put grandma's ashes in, but or uh, grandpa's or somebody's because that's a big jug. But had to it would take a big man to fill this jug with his ashes. Uh, but it is, it's nifty. It's, it's a nice jug. Hold on while I get something else.
Okay, here's a teapot from Japan. It's marked Made in Japan on the bottom. Uh, where? Be this way. Made in Japan. Anyway, that's what that says, probably backwards. Um, and it's got very pretty painting on it, enamel kind of like painting. Uh, Lots of pretty colors and sort of a dark brown. It looks black, but it's really a really dark, dark brown. That's the back of it. And it's got its lid. And it looks like it's was probably red redware, red clay or redware that made it that it was made from. It's in pretty nice shape. So I will have that teapot for sale. And here is another, another this is by the company called, I, I guess the company was called Princess House. Um, I'm sorry about that glare from my lamp, but I don't know if you can see how it's got this etched flowers on there. Let me pull it a little bit. That's real pretty. But these were called Princess House um, candle lamps. Here's the base to it. And it's kind of thin and delicate. It's got this pretty ruffled edge. It um, needs a good cleaning, obviously. Uh, but it's uh, no, no chips or anything. No cracks or chips. And uh, I think it's just really pretty, really pretty fairy lamp or candle lamp. I like it. Um, so here, that's this was my favorite. I don't know what your favorite is. You can let me know, but this was my favorite. It's it's called it's by J T Jones. It says decorated and modeled by, which I I don't know if that means he actually. Did the modeling of the clay and everything or not but but it says that on the bottom jt jones and it looks like he's pretty famous he did a lot of them uh and it's uh, number 56 or the year 56 i don't know which bluebird that's on there and then that other little symbol hmm I'm not sure what that other little part there is, but I'm sure that's the company that's distributed it. Uh, but anyway, this is so pretty, and I can't find any any broken bits or tips off the leaves or or anything it looks just perfect to me and these little flowers are so lovely and he did a lot of these he, he did a lot of different birds uh, lots of different types of birds and samples and like I said everything appears to be perfect even his little little skinny leg back here is in good shape I don't know this little hole here it came like that and I I have a feeling that that must be hollow and that's uh, where they filled in the mold right there um, but I mean it's just such a pretty thing I love this I will not be sad if it doesn't sell but I am going to have it for sale because if I kept it then I'd want to find more and I'd want to start a little collection. And I I don't have room for a little collection because I've got so much stuff. But I would want to because it's so cute with the eggs in the nest and the little bird. Now, a lot of his have are very similar in the way he, he made them. The, the bird will be sitting over here on this twig and different shapes. Uh, and then he'll be 
looking over a, bat, a, a nest of eggs, but his flowers up here will maybe be a different color or a different shape. I mean, there are some that are more horizontal or, or whatever, but J.T. Jones, he does birds. He does birds just right. They're so cool. Um, I think I showed you this cowbell before, but what I forgot to say is I think that there was a little bit more to the tip of this cow's horn there. It seems to be broken off and maybe a little paint scraped there on that ear. having much luck but I'll be showing you these things again on Thursday and I'm hoping you're here to see it but this is that really cute cowbell really cute really cute so cute all right what else do I have here I have um I have this little baby shoe planter um, I have not looked this up yet, so, and I even haven't taken the sticker off yet. It was $2.99 at the store at the Habitat for Humanity. Ooh, there's something under there, though. Let's see. Hmm. It says... It says USA under here when you're looking at it the right way, USA. But I don't know what that is up there. It is backwards, but I don't know what it is. If anybody can leave in the comments what that symbol is or how to tell me to turn the camera so I don't show you everything backwards. But it is made in the USA. It's a little baby shoe in pink. A little planter would look real cute with, with an air plant in there or a little succulent or a fake succulent. But I think it's real cute. Got a little a little hole right there that looked like like it happened when it was made. Because it doesn't look chipped or anything. It's just a little Teensy weensy hole. Uh, so anyway, that will be for sale. I have this peacock, Japanese peacock. Uh, you know, you might might be just a teacup, something to drink your tea in. Um, I've picked up a. A couple of these, and if they have a little chip or a crack, I usually end up putting a little succulent in them, or a fake one, or or whatever, and and setting them around because I just think they're so pretty. But this is a lone one. It does say uh, Japan on the bottom, and it has that uh, that symbol there. Again, I have not made looked this up at all so <clears throat> I don't know what it's worth or anything but I like it and I think it's beautiful and it would make such a cute little record a uh, little uh, planter or you could just put anything in it I mean you know I have one sitting by my bed that I pour my excedrin in <laughs> and when I I mean whenever it's gonna rain here I I get headaches really bad and usually a couple of excedrins as soon as I feel the rain come on and, and that usually happens like in the middle of the night so I always just like where's my excedrin and I pull out two and take them <laughs> with the water I keep at my bed but um, that one's not as pretty as this and it probably I've probably had that one for 
years and years. Uh, okay, let me show you a couple other things. As long as it says I'm not running out of room, I might as well keep showing. I don't know where my other, um, I, I'm not exactly sure where my other video stopped. So this is video, this is part two, and I'll write that down before I, I um, part two of that haul that I started earlier today that I had to stop because of, I ran out of room on my, my phone. I don't know if you do, but you know, I, I list uh, things for eBay. I've got close to 300 on there right now, which is low compared to what I've had in the past. Um, but I, I take all these pictures of the things I'm going to list on eBay and then I, I don't go back and delete them after, um, they've been listed and gotten on there. I, and I should, I should do that because it just fills up all the space on my, um, on my phone. Uh, luckily for me, my daughter was here and she showed me how I could get them up into the cloud, which, you know, I just thought they would just go there on their own when they got crowded, you know, uh, you know, say, Hey folks, let's, uh, let's go on up to the cloud. It doesn't work that way, I guess. But anyway, she fixed that for me. Um, let me see. I got these cute little Avon ladies. These are bells also. Isn't she sweet with the flowers? And it says on the inside, it says Avon 1985. inside there sorry about the lighting um i'm not in the usual spot for my my uh where i'm going to be when next on thursday hopefully i'll be in my dining room with the better lighting but she's cute and then here's another one um a little mama with her baby in her arms. Another Avon Bell from 1985 again. I, I, what I keep looking for is if there's a name of what the bell is called, but I don't see any. But I'm sure the date again is 1985 in there. Uh, so those two will be in the sale. Maybe I'll sell them together as a as a couple. There's a cute little. Uh, this is another peacock. No, this is a dragon. This is a dragon where on uh, Japan, a teacup. Oh, this is China. This is China, not Japan. This is the dragon. And I don't know what that symbol is. And it's got a lid. Maybe to steep your tea in there. Um, but it's not in the greatest shape. It's got um, it's got a little line crack right there. It doesn't appear to go. Oh yeah, it even you can even see it on the inside there, right there. Um, and some little problems down here with the paint. Um, the lid has got these cool little symbols on it and the dragon. Uh, there's an indentation there, but it's glazed over, so I think that was not a, um, it, that's not an injury that was made when it happened. But I won't charge very much for this because it's got that crack, crack in it. But I thought it was pretty, so I bought it. Right. Uh, I also have, um, I also have four of these um, brocade uh, Parsons chair covers. 
in in wonderful shape. I would I usually just put them on um, at in the fall uh, here in Florida. I had four, I don't know I had four Parsons chairs I set around my table, and they had a I had I had covered them myself with this uh, material that had bamboo on it. And so I, when the fall rolled around, I wanted to change, so I put these on, and then I had some red ones that weren't this nice a quality. They were much thinner, and they wrinkled much worse. But I just freshly washed, washed these, and, and so they're in excellent shape. They're quite heavy. I have four of them, and, um, and, and I don't have the Parsons chairs anymore. I have different chairs. So I'm thinking I should just sell these four parson chair covers. I think I'll have those in my sale. If they don't go, they're going to have to go on, on eBay. I think on eBay I'm going to start selling mostly clothes. Because when I first started out, I mostly sold clothes. Um, and not not all these knickknacks and thrifting things. But, but the knickknacks and knick knacks and thrifting things were actually my first love when I when I moved down here in 1997 I I um I brought with me a lot of things from up in Indiana I lived in Crown Point Indiana which is right at the tip of the lake well Gary's right at the tip of the lake there Lake Michigan but we were just 14 miles further down the road I-65 and and everything was uh more colonial or country or but I had a lot of knickknacks and things like that that my mom had and she had moved into a smaller place so um, I took some of those and and sold those and I sold a lot of sweaters that I had from up north because um, we wore a lot more there than we do here although this since we've moved here we do go up to um, uh, Maine every year uh, or at least we have for the past 15 years where we have a place in Sunday River and, and ski and stuff. And so, and then the kids both live, two of the kids live, um, one lives in Maryland and one lives in Massachusetts. Uh, and I'm blessed to have my daughter down here, thank goodness. But those two are in snowy areas. So when we go up there for the holidays, that's where um, I take my sweaters. But um, but I But I sold a lot of them at first. And uh, and so it started out being mostly clothes, and um, but it's uh, in watching these starting last year, I started watching a lot more um, YouTube and thrifters and and all of you. I I found Dee at Thrill of the Thrift and uh, Alex at uh, Chapter Two and uh, Nesting Haven, uh, Nicole North Garden. I love her. Um, I love you all. I watched, I watched so many now that I don't have time to, to catch all of you every day. But I look for you, and I, I, I love watching all the things that you've gotten. I, oh, the crazy lamp lady, Jocelyn and Sue. Watch both of, I watch her a lot. Um, Sue a lot. But anyway, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this now, and I really hope that your home and and think of me on Thursday afternoon at four o'clock and come to my live sale and subscribe because I think I have like three subscribers and I could use a few more <laughs> and and I need to get rid of this stuff I have at least at least a hundred more items already written down and ready to go for uh, uh, live sales um, but uh, this is the most recent things. Those things are all from...